Hello, everybody. All right, so let's start. We're starting the last chapter of the fifth grade Go Math textbook. Our discussion in this lesson is polygons. And it basically, the question is, how can you identify and classify polygons? We're on page 465 of the fifth grade Go Math textbook. All right, unlock the problem. The Castel de, de Monte in Apollia, Apollia, Italy, was built more than 750 years ago. The fortress has one central building with eight surrounding towers. Which polygon do you see repeated in the structure? And how many sides, angles, and vertices does this polygon have? So remember, a polygon is a closed plane figure formed by three or more line segments that meet at peak points called vertices. It is named by the number of sides and angles it has. To identify the repeated polygon in the fortress, complete the tables below. All right, so this actually is probably a review for many of you. And so we see that in here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight angles. All right, so let's keep that in mind as we fill out this chart. So in a triangle, we know that it has three sides. Triangle also has three angles. And it has three vertices. The quadrilateral has one, two, three, four angles, four sides, and four vertices. A pentagon has five sides. One, two, three, four, five angles, and it also has five vertices. Hexagon, one, two, three, four, five, six angles, six vertices, six sides. All right, so a heptagon, so we notice the pa pattern that the number of sides, angles, and vertices are all the same. A heptagon has seven sides, so it has to have seven angles and seven vertices. An octagon has eight sides, eight angles, eight vertices. A nonagon has nine sides, nine angles, nine vertices. And a decagon has ten sides, ten angles, and ten vertices. <clears throat> so, the what is the repeated polygon in the Castel de Mont? Well, it had eight sides, so that is an octagon. It has eight sides, eight angles, eight vertices. All right, let's go to page 466. So regular polygons, when the line segments have the same length, or when angles have the same measure, we call that congruent. Same length, same measure. Two polygons are congruent when they have the same size and same shape. In a regular polygon, all the sides are congruent and all the angles are congruent. So if we look at this shape here, we see one, two, three, four, five sided figure, a pentagon. We see that all five sides measure four centimeters each, and that inside all the angles are 108 degrees. So if all the sides are congruent and all the angles are congruent, we call that a regular polygon. Okay, but now when we look at this one, you see the tick marks here? Well, that mark is telling you that these two sides are the same. And the one with two lines means that those two sides are the same. This angle here, the single angle, that means those angles are congruent. 
and the double angle means that those angles are congruent. So this is not a regular polygon because not all the sides and not all the angles are congruent. All right, so let's keep that in mind as we do our problems. So let's label this, label the Venn diagram to classify the polygons in each group. Then draw a polygon that belongs to each group. All right. Well, we can simply say congruent angles. This one has congruent angles. So we get right angle, right angle, right angle, right angle, right angle. So everything on this side are congruent angles. And on this side, we see that all the sides are marked by the same. So they have congruent sides. And so in the middle, we have both congruent angles and congruent sides. So the ones right in the middle are regular polygons. All right, so then you have to draw one that represents each of those things. So congruent angles, well, we just need, again, a four-sided figure. Well, it could be a three-sided figure, too. But all the angles have to be the same. Um, so in the middle, we could have any size shape and I might not be exactly the same on the sides here and the angles might be a little off actually I know they're off okay. so let's let's let me do this one instead how about a rhombus where all the angles are the same and all the sides are the same all right and congruent sides Okay, so this one I can use I'm going to say all the sides are equal without measuring it and then I'm going to say those two are equivalent and those two are congruent okay so basically on this circle on this side you need to have four congruent angles. On this side, you need to have all sides the same measure. And on this in the middle, you need to have sides and angles equal to each other. All right, so name the polygon. Then use the markings on the figure to tell whether it's regular polygon or not a regular polygon. Okay, well, that's a triangle, right? Three sides, three angles, three vertices. But not triangles, triangles. Are all the sides and all the angles congruent? Yes. Is it a regular polygon? Yes. Number two. So one, two, three, four, five, six sided figure. So that's a hexagon. I see that all the sides are this are congruent and all the angles are also congruent. So it's a regular polygon. Number three <clears throat> is a four-sided figure, so we're just going to call it a quadrilateral. And it is not a regular polygon because only these two sides are congruent while these two sides are congruent. So not all four sides are congruent. Not a regular polygon. All right, and number four, I do see that all the sides are congruent as well as all the angles. So this is going to be a regular polygon, and it is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight-sided figure. 
So that's an octagon. And it is a regular polygon. Right, name each polygon, tell whether it's regular or not a regular. Okay, well, this is a square. And so in a square, we know all the sides are congruent. And a square has to have four right angles. So all four angles are the same. So it's a quadrilateral. And it is a regular polygon. Number three, I see only two tick marks being the same. So they're saying that this side is not the same as those two. And I only see two congruent angles, so this angle is not the same. So this is a triangle, but it's not a regular polygon. Okay, number seven. All the sides are the same. All the angles are congruent. So this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sided figure. And that's a heptagon. And in this case, it's a regular polygon. Okay, number eight. I do not see all the sides are congruent. Remember, this single mark means that those four sides are the same. This one with two marks means that those two sides are congruent. These double angles means that those angles are congruent, while the end angles are congruent to each other. So this is a six-sided figure, a hexagon, which is not a regular polygon, or this hexagon is not regular. Number nine, that's a pentagon. It's a five-sided figure. It is not a regular polygon. Okay, again, I see one mark here and one mark here. That means these two sides are, I see one mark here, one mark here. Those two sides are congruent to each other and these two sides are congruent to each other. These two angles are right angles, these two are congruent, and this last one is not congruent to anything, nor is this side congruent to anything. And number 10, I see all the sides are the same, and I see all the angles are congruent. So, pentagon, because it's five sides, five angles, five vertices, and it is a regular polygon. Number 11, <clears throat> which polygons on the floor plan have four equal sides and four congruent angles? How many of these polygons are there? Well, four sides that are equal and four congruent angles, that's a square. So I would say the quadrilaterals. or you could say squares. And how many of them? Well, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight squares. Is there a quadrilateral in the floor plan that is not a regular polygon? Well, yeah. The trapezoids. And how many trapezoids are there? This is a trapezoid. Okay, it has four sides, but the angles are clearly not congruent. And this is an eight-sided figure, so there's eight trapezoids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, 13. Sketch eight points that are vertices of a closed plane figure. Connect the points to draw the figure. Okay, so it just has to be a closed shape with no curved lines. All right. There's three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh -oh, 
something like that. Okay, so it doesn't matter. It just has to have eight sides. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's connect the points. What polygon did you draw? An octagon. All right, 14. Look at the angles for all regular polygons. As the number of sides increases, do the measure of the angles increase or decrease? All right. So basically what we're saying, let's look at like this triangle. Okay. So we see that all of these angles are less than 90. Then the square is all 90s. When we look at a five-sided figure that is a regular polygon, we notice that the angles are now getting wider. Okay. So as the number of angles increases, and as the number of sides increases, the measure of the angles increases. So the measures of the angles increase as the number of sides increase. And finally, 15. Kayla drew the shape shown. Okay, I see that she drew a regular polygon because I see indicator marks that show that all the sides are congruent and that all the angles are congruent. So this figure has one, two, three, four, five, six sides, six angles, and a six-sided figure is called a hexagon. So she drew a regular hexagon. So that's all there is to polygons. And that should have been basically a review of the work you've done in actually beginning in like third grade. So in our next lesson, we're going to review um, our understanding of triangles. So until then, I'll see you soon.